Hello everyone, welcome to Center of Balance Live. I'm Sunan Pua from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist. Well, today our topic is going to be about um, macular degeneration, right? It's an eye disease. This is an eye disease. Uh, so macular degeneration, you probably heard about people say AMD. What is AMD? Age related macular degeneration okay now this new topic uh, this is what we're going to talk about so macular degeneration is a common eye disorder that causes central version loss right um so your central version is what you see when you um you are looking straight ahead right so there's another version called um uh perif uh, what do we call sight version Okay, side version and center is quite different. Okay, one is it when you look at, when you look straight, the, the center. If you if you my hands in here, this is center. This this is center version, and around on the side things that are on the side, there's side version. Huh? Uh, and also called um, peripheral version. I think that 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 probably the side way, just around it, things around it. Apart from center, things around it is two different version, okay, and and the um and what is actually macula? Macula is very actually a very small area. It's a very very small area at the center of your retina. So a small area in the center of the retina. It actually um uh, in Chinese macula called Huangban. Huangban. What Huangban means is um is a small area that is yellow color right so it's very very interesting because in chinese medicine we name that macula into color as well so it's the weight when you look at it it's actually red color uh no red, yellow color huangban yellow color so so we call it um uh, yellow macula right so when when we say yellow macula it's actually more to do with the spleen and stomach because spleen and stomach is yellow. The nutrition go to spleen and stomach is actually yellow, right? Although the eyes, the eyes should control by the liver and gallbladder, but it doesn't mean that macular degeneration, this disease, is just related to the liver and gallbladder. It came liver, uh, uh, um, uh related to stomach and spleen function according to Chinese medicine, right? So um, the macula, right, we said it is in the center of the retina, right? Um, what is the function actually? It macula is the light sense, uh, sensitive inner lining of the eye. Right? It's one very thin uh, uh, tissue, right? It is very sensitive to the light, right? The macula contains the highest concentration of light sensitive cells. It's the highest one. The concentrate of the concentration of the light sensitive uh, cells. So these cells are responsible to detail central and color vision. It's detail and color. So if this one is loss you know so there's one symptom that is actually you get a black spot you don't see the center and the light the lights the color is gone so it become so one of the symptom symptoms of the, of this is it actually you get a black hole in there now something in the black you look at things but in the middle there's something black in there right so Center version is needed for seeing straight ahead, as I well, and is used in tasks such as sewing, reading, and driving. Right. Um, so in AMD, which age related macular degeneration, right? Center version become disorder. Uh, so the center version uh, it, it becomes a uh, disorder. So with AMD, um, 
there are two different types. All right. So there are two different types. Uh, one type is we call dry AMD. The other type we call uh, wet AMD. Well, what that means is um, <clears throat> version loss may be a gradual process in dry AMD or a sudden one due to a, a leakage of blood vessels with AMD. So what that means is um, when the macula it it way off its function and it hasn't got enough uh, blood circulation to the macula lining um, and that one compared with the other one it hasn't got enough blood supply to the macula and so your body try to uh, create a vessel a few vessels not just one to supply the blood and this one with multiple a few uh, new vessels develop we call it wet AMD the other one which we haven't got any extra vessel then compare with the other one it called dry AMD right so in Western medicine there are treatment available but the treatments only available to help prevent further loss of vision in wet AMD unfortunately there is no treatment for dry AMD so measures to help prevent version loss may include new new nutritional supplement, lifestyle measures such as uh, not smoking, um, eating a nutri nutritional um, diet, and exercise regular as also very important. Now, to be honest in here, do you know? that we said about you lost the version right it's gradually happen you see this black spot in there and you see that the, when you see look at line it actually uh curve you have curve in there uh this thing come gradually for gradually getting worse <clears throat> with a wet one you can get injection to your eyes it's painful and it has side effect as well and it's, it try to prevent diversion loss, right? But I haven't seen any of my patients that have very good result for that. They may have some effect. Um, so either Western medicine or Chinese medicine or acupuncture, the optimal goal, the first goal that we want to do, we want to reach is prevent it to go away worse right prevent it to go worse if anything that we wanted to be able to improve right and there's not much that um western medicine can do at the moment but we found that acupuncture and chinese herbs a very good combination for this disease even for dry AMD. So dry AMD, they, they can't do anything. You just wait for it to go blind. But acupuncture certainly can prevent it to go worse, then make it a bit better. But I don't know whether we can make it to all better. Every case is different. So we have a recent case last week. So one of patients from Wellington, her right eye actually improved for two level after 10 acupuncture. And the left eye has no improvement. But by saying that, her, I mean the version has no improvement when we check it. But when she closed her eyes, she can she actually can see the black spot in the middle. And that's become half now, which is improving as well. Right. Um, we will talk more about it uh, next time. Right. Um, 
And one thing that we want to uh, also share with you, they uh, in America, I think I got some number in here. It's estimated that more than 10 million Americans have this disease. Okay. So this is actually also the number one cause of version loss. Number one cause of version loss. That's a thought. That's huge. Um, then in New Zealand, uh, I think I just Googled, I can see there is something. Let me have a look. Um, I'm pretty sure I have some number of it. I just checked on it uh, just now. Hmm, where's the number? Um, I'm pretty sure it said about... One in seven people over the age of 60 years is affected by AMD in New Zealand. What well, I'm looking up on the uh, health neg navigator.co.ng it said one in seven people over the age of 60 years is affected by AMD. And AMD may develop slowly, dry AMD, or rapidly wet AMD. So one is a bit slow, one is a bit quicker. AMD causes a loss of central version, which is, um, I'm reading off the website here. It's needed for task use as reading, showing, okay, that's a, but the same, same thing. Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. Over 60 years old. Seven people, if one people that actually suffer from AMD, so that is very, very common. It's quite common, right? It's very, very common. Um, how many percent is it actually? One out of seven. Let's have a look. One out of seven. So, over 60 years old. If 100 people, you got four, 14 people of them, you have AMD. That's huge. That's quite a lot. All right. So we are in Dunsdale, Hamilton. If you're in um, uh, New Zealand uh, or Australia or wherever you are, you can well, welcome to come to us. Uh, our phone numbers, phone numbers 07846795607846. 7956. We're going to share uh, the different type of macular degeneration and how many percentages they have and the symptom of macular degeneration, uh, causes of macular degenerations, diagnosis uh, macular degeneration, how to actually diagnose them, um, and complication of macular degeneration and treatment for macular degeneration and how to prevent it and prevention of macular degeneration okay all those things little topic we're going to go through it uh, a little bit a little bit a day every day all right this is the kickstart of today so that's it for today stay awesome and i love you all see you tomorrow